If you have sales data for many clients and you want to extract the first and last transactions only for each client, how could we do that? I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I use dynamic array functions to solve this problem. So let's have a look. In this example, I have a list of items in column A. This could be a list of clients, of students, of patients, of transactions, of players, any list of items. And in column B, I could have an amount, a date, or any other information. I would like to extract the first and last record for each one of the items. And here is an example. In this worksheet, I have in column B a list of customers. I have some transactions for Amazon, Best Buy, Costco, and so on. In columns F and G, I created a function that extracts the first transaction for Amazon and the last transaction for Amazon. Then the first transaction for Best Buy, followed by the last transaction for Best Buy, and so on for each one of the clients. Let's understand the concept of the solution. What if I want to create a unique list of customers? Then in this case, I use a unique dynamic array function. Equal unique. And then I select all the customers in column B, shift control down air control backspace. I close the bracket, I hit enter. And here is a unique list of customers. What if I want to extract the first record for each customer? I can use an XLOOKUP function. So if I type equal XLOOKUP and then I hit tab, What's your lookup value? I select all the client names and then I type a comma. Where do you look for this value? I look for it in column B, the list of customers, shift control down arrow, control backspace. And then I type a comma. What's your return array? My return array will be the same. I select the top value, shift control down arrow, control backspace. I close the bracket and hit enter and I would have extracted the first record for each client. Now I want to extract the last record for each one of the clients. I copy the unique function, Control C, and then I hit Escape. I want to paste it another time, Control V. And now I want to use an XLOOKUP function with more arguments to extract the last record. And I'll be typing equal XLOOKUP. I hit Tab. What's your lookup value? I select the spill that I returned by the unique function. I type a comma. I look for it in column B, the customers, and then I type a comma. What's your return array? My return array will be the sales. And then I type a comma. If not found, I'm going to skip it. The match mode, I'm going to skip it. And here is the important argument that will search last to first to return the last value. I type minus one. I close the bracket. I hit enter. Now I would have extracted the last record for each one of the clients. I have the first one and I have the last one. If I bring the label at the top and I sort these values, I will get the desired result. Let's delete everything and start over again. I will combine all these functions in one single let function. In cell E1, I'm going to create my let function. I can expand the formula bar, Control Shift U. And I start typing equal let, and then I hit tab. I would like to define some variables. The first variable will be storing the column headers in B2 and C2, and I'll call it A. A is equal to B2 and C2. I type a comma, alt enter to move to the next line. The second variable will be storing the client names in column B. I can name it B. I type a comma. And for B, I want all the customer names. Then I select the top value in B3, shift control down arrow, control backspace. And then I type a comma. I hit Alt Enter. And now I want to store the sales in another variable. I will name it C. I type C, comma. And the value for C will be the sales. I select the top value, shift control down arrow, control backspace, and then comma. I was just storing these values in the source data, so I don't need to go back and select them from there. And now I start creating a list of unique customers. I hit Alt-Enter, and I name my variable D. 
this will be a list of unique customers and it will have the value of unique unique of what of the variable b the list of customers if you want to test then i type comma alt enter and i can give it the return value d to see what it will return i close the bracket for the let function and then i hit enter then as you can see i get a unique list of customers let's continue building our function I select my function, I put it in the edit mode, I delete the closing bracket and the D, and now I want to extract the first record. I'm going to name this variable first, and then comma, and the value for the first will be an XLOOKUP function that I type XLOOKUP. I'm searching for each name in the variable D, the unique list of customers, comma, I search for it in the variable B, the list of clients, and then comma, my return array will be from the variable C. I close the bracket, and that will return the first amount for each one of the clients. I type a comma, and then I hit Alt Enter. Now I want the last record, I want the last amount, I will name it last. I type a comma, and I can copy my XLOOKUP function and modify it, Control C, and I paste it, Control V. I delete the closing bracket and I type three commas, one, two, three, and then minus one to search from last to first. I close the bracket. Now I have stored the first record and the last record. We need to put everything together. I type a comma, Alt Enter. Now I want to put the two lists. I want to stack on top of each other the two lists of unique names that I use a vstack function to do that, a vstack, and I want d over d, two lists, two occurrences of the names. I close the bracket, and what else do you want? If I close the bracket for the let function at this point, what do I get? I get the list of clients repeated twice. Then to the side, I want the first record for each client, and below it, the last record. Then I want to put them side by side. That's an edge stack function. I also want to put the first followed by the last on top of each other. That's a V stack function. Let's continue edit our function. I click before the V stack and I want to type edge stack. I type a comma. And what would you like to stack horizontally? I want to stack the names and the values. But for the values, I want the first. And below it, I want the last that I use a vstack function to do that. I hit tab, I type first, comma, last. I close the bracket for the second vstack function. I close the bracket for the edge stack function. And I close the bracket for the let function. When I hit enter, I'm getting a unique list of customers with the first record. And another unique list of customers below it with the last record. What if we sort these values? Then I'm selecting my function one more time, and I want to wrap it in a sort function. I hit the tab key, and I close the bracket at the end. When I hit enter, now I get Amazon and the first record, Amazon and the last record, and the same for other clients. But we need to bring the header at the top, and I save the header in the variable A. Then it's another vstack function. Then I type vstack, I hit the tab key, I want to stack the headers, the variable a, comma, followed by all this bunch of functions. I close the bracket at the end, and when I hit enter, I would have solved the problem. If you found value in this tutorial, give it a thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when your tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.